So what's up guys, welcome to another video. Don't know what happened to the original video file that I had for the intro. Somehow it got deleted, amateur YouTuber here. But anyway, so this video is going to be about some updates to weightlifting and a little bit of life leading into Texas State Prep. Uh, this would be the first installment of the series and I just kind of wanted to catch you up to speed because lately I've been posting videos that aren't really time-based, so there has been some gap in time. Uh, so this one takes place around the Saturday right after Thanksgiving uh, just to kind of fill in the gaps and then I'll be dropping a couple videos the same week in real time so that everything is caught up and we can be up to pace and we can get this prep series started. Stick around, go the ride, just keep progressing. All right, so recent things since the uh, competition in Oklahoma. So my good friend Chelsea came up here. That's her right there. And she was my date to our battalion ball that I went to. Fun event, uh, traditional event. Always shows unit cohesion, esprit de corps. Uh, usually units should have them like every year. So as we came back from Poland, this was our year to have it. Good event, like I said. Um, while she was here, I had a heavy session. That was the first session I was able to do at a new body weight. I think that week I was already like 80, 45. Um, I ended up getting like three PRs in the snatch that day. Um, so it was a snatch imam every two minutes on the minute, or snatch imam every two minutes. And I pretty much started at like 80%, which I think was, I want to say 86 kg. And just went up 2% until I either missed a bunch of times or just hit a number that I felt was heavy enough for the day. So PR started coming in at like 105, then I hit 108, then it finished off at 110. Uh, that was pretty good. Kenny Jerks, no PR there, ended at 129. Pretty much same, it was every three minutes on the minute. But I feel like the moods, the weights move pretty easily. I think the only reason I maybe couldn't have squeezed out a PR that day was because uh, they're still working on some technical issues and because it was an EMOM that was controlled by percentage, at least with the jumps, I had to take a lot more smaller jumps than normal, um, but no big deal there. I still am pretty satisfied with that performance that day. I think I ended up with like a 239 total. So, I mean, not competition, but biggest total I've ever hit. Almost right under 240, you know? So I haven't made too many changes to my diet. Still eating similar foods. Uh, just overall, just eating more, right? Uh, I think now I'm eating like 2,840 calories a day. And I want to say macros wise, it's like 70% protein, 30% carbs, 30% fat. Um, Steph has been giving me the macros, just haven't been giving me a meal plan. Just because we both know, like I know enough of what to eat so that I kind of like balance it out the right way. So I just do weekly check-ins with her tell her my weight is at, and then she kind of just adjusts from there. Uh, just recently, we cut back a little bit of calories just so that I can put on 
muscle and that fat um, just because my body does fluctuate weight really easily and I was gaining weight really quick so we just cut back a little bit just so we could just make sure that I'm turning most of that added weight into muscle um, I have added beef back into my diet I think I've said it before on camera but for the last couple of years I haven't consistently ate beef um, most of my I only eat it out of like necessity with being in the army we're just somewhere that either we're eating MRE so I just eat whatever I eat or it's between like a hot meal with beef versus uh, MRE and of course I'm gonna go with that hot meal um, still not adding pork back in um, overall I just don't like eating pork especially it just hurts my stomach sometimes so a lot of my meals are bigger I'll probably at some point throughout the prep show you what I'm eating uh, I might not show you this video just so I can keep this one a little bit shorter but yeah overall it's been it's been pretty good I like lifting at a heavier body weight um, it just feels like there's more behind the bar when I lift especially feeling the squats like there's a lot more to brace with and in both lifts uh, snatch and clean jerk it just feels like there's just enough in the tank um, and I did get to experience this at the first half of Poland and that's when I was hitting like 104 snatch pretty easily. Um, I think I got 137 clean and jerk, squatting heavy as hell. Uh, like I said, there's just more potential behind the bar when I'm at this weight compared to when I'm near 81s, it's kind of like fighting for every kilo on the bar. So it is. It just makes a lot, it's, it just makes a lot more sense to lift at this heavier body weight. About to order some Chick Fil A for dinner. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go spice, spicy Southwest salad with nuggets. Boom. And then mm, that line is crazy, by the way. And then a Chick Fil A Deluxe. Yeah, Chick Fil A Deluxe with a medium fry. We locked in. All right, let me get out of here and go get this food. I ended up getting this uh, e collar for patch, and I've been walking them off leash pretty much. Hasn't really been on leash that much in the past couple weeks since I've gotten it, and it's pretty good. Um, the setting that I don't really use it on doesn't hurt him or anything. It's just enough to get his attention. Uh, just kind of work on his recall and stuff. He just seems to enjoy it. Seems to avoid, seems to enjoy being off leash and it's easier to tire him out because he can kind of run around on his own. So I don't need to like bring him out here and like try to exercise him so much. Just kind of let him do his thing for a little bit. I really don't even have to uh, activate it that often to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Got all my food, got my chicken sandwich and fries, and my salad's in here. Remember, I don't eat this big of a dinner, but the uh, fridge is looking kind of low right now because I haven't uh, went grocery shopping yet and need to meal prep everything. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But um, hopefully this video kind of caught you up to date so that when I start these uh, Texas State prep videos, start that series up, that it'll all make sense of where I'm at right now. Uh, and like I keep saying, Follow on Instagram if you want 
to stay up to date because I normally I'm not making actual posts. I'm at least on my story, just kind of showing you just things that I'm doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and start eating my food before Patch uh, gets too close to this table and tries to take my food from me. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Just keep progressing.